Hey there, Boots Owen here. I picked up this little motor out of a skip recently. Feels a bit loose on the bearings, but uh, it should run okay. If we have a look at it, it is a Newman Elf made by Newman Industries Limited in Yate in Bristol. It's got a number, it's a SC induction motor made in England, frame 10S104S, 240, 250 volts. I don't know if that's 240 or 220. Uh, two amps, single phase, 50 hertz, sixth, one slash six horsepower, 1425 RPM, no starting torque rating. Little motor, three pulley speeds, but uh, the lowest is damaged. This was running a small bench drill, if I can pull that up. A semi-homemade affair. Oh, lost something there. A semi-homemade affair. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, which has a broken casting, but has its base plate. Broken casting for the table. Missing a table. But it has the quill and whatnot above for driving a tapered shaft there. A little lead weight on the back as a up and down affair and uh, it's driven by it was meant to sit on the bench behind it and then have the pulley the, the the belt going up and over around here around the back down again to the motor beyond um i don't really have any ambition of using that bench drill but i would like to test the motor and i looked at it and i thought that looks a bit ropey it was wired on a household switch and we'll get in here just the cord looks a bit old and before i do anything i want to have a look at the wiring the feeling if i plug it in it'll just pop so that should slide up and that should spin around green oh, that's loose i guess it's loose because it was on there okay red okay so that's all <laughs> that's all really awful stuff and touching itself uh that's neutral black to the frame. No good. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Right, that's gone. That was live. Okay. And this was neutral. So let's strip a piece of wire straight away and get that on it. Just want to see if it spins nothing more nothing less i'm not even too fussed if i do a good job wiring it I just uh just want to get something onto it but that wire was pretty pretty bad that's the only word for it awful Do it just like it was and twist the wire around the pillars. So I'll shave them good and long. Like that. What did I say that that was live? So live. Twist. Twist and curl. And it just needs to be clamped down. It doesn't really need any more than that. I'd like it to get in a bit better. Then. Can we take this one off? Give me some more wiggle room. I haven't even cleaned it. I presume there's no oil in the bearings. This has been... I met the guy who was throwing it out and asked him about it. And he just said oh, that it was there for a while. I could make up crimps for the ends, but I'm not even going to do that. You see that? You can, just about. Mm. 
that's unreasonable enough. I wouldn't want to lose these down into the case. Have to, well, I'll probably just shake it off if it did. There we go. These look like nickel plated brass washers. There's that one. Okay, so that's that wire gone. And it was on an old plug as well, unshielded pins, which is also fine. Squeeze that on there, that can come out like that. This was down around the bottom here, and put it back on there. It can be squeezed on by the plate. Not that it really matters if the plate's on it or not for this test. Looks, the plate looks to be homemade, but painted the same colour, so presumably the motor was resprayed at some point in its life. Come on, fingers, do your thing. The plate doesn't really fit, it's what's going on here. There we go. So the earth is touching it at the bottom. What do you think? Will the lights go out, or will it just start? It does spin. That's half the battle. Like, spin by hand, I mean. It's not going to be under any load. It's got little oil cups there. Dry as a bone. Could put a shot of oil into them, can't hurt. Full by any means. We're on. You see, there's a lot of float in that, but I think there isn't much up and down. Makes me think it's okay. Obviously, I have no switch on it now, so the plug is the switch. Bring this over here. Ready? Lights on. Oh, that's quite silent, but it's jabbering a lot. Can you see that flicking? this video successful I would say that is a Newman Elf little motor plugged out now number three four six two two nine three up there that's the number frame s 104 s um is an sc motor a synchronous induction motor looks to have brush caps there but they can't be brushes if it's a 1425 uh, induction motor so now I can keep that because I'm happy that it'll do something for me rather than being a complete clunk. Happy days. Yeah, how to wire a Newman Elf motor maybe? Any questions or comments? I might strip it down. I don't need it today. I might just put it into the cupboard with all the other motors. But I need to keep it with the pulley for the other pulley because they're matching. Right. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.